I don't know what's going on these days. It seems like it's always something going on at the airport. We've seen people get angry over missing their flights, showing up to the airport late, or having to pay more money for baggage. We've seen the story of the woman getting mad at the gate agent because she couldn't find her own children when they left and went to the bathroom without her knowing. Remember, she got the growling and swinging. Or that one crazy lady at the airport in Texas. Believe that one was DFW. Shout out to Dallas. Camera at Miami International Airport, angry passengers arrested after causing a scene and assaulting an employee. Police say the two women became aggressive after ticket agents told them they could not get on their flight because they were too late. Unruly passenger caught on camera. At Miami International Airport, police say the woman's two children walked away and when she noticed, she demanded that American Airlines ticket agents find them. She then began screaming and started damaging equipment. At one point, she even threw computer equipment at an agent. Spirit Airlines says it suspended an employee who works at DFW Airport and police are now investigating after an argument with a traveler got out of control. Airport police were not on the scene while that fight was happening. They took a report based on the accounts of the people involved, plus witnesses who recorded the video. This apparently started over a problem with seating on a flight. Oh yeah, I remember this one. They allowed this woman to repeatedly assault the airline worker. They did not arrest her, but I believe the airline worker ended up getting fired. All because he tried to defend himself after this woman put hands on him multiple times. He even had Simp stepping up to him trying to fight him. No one corrected her. Well, this time we have a young woman who got angry at TSA agents at a Phoenix airport for taking her apple juice. Who drank my apple juice? Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Shout out to everybody watching from Phoenix and the whole state of Arizona as well as Arkansas. TSA is always busy making sure that everyone is safe when traveling and Tuesday, April 25th, 2023 was just like any other day. TSA screened over 2 million travelers that day, and most people know how to carry themselves at the airport. They understand the rules. They know the things permitted and the things prohibited by TSA. All of that information conveniently on their website and the website of the airlines. Well, a young woman identified as 19-year-old Makia Coleman of Arkansas obviously wasn't aware of the rules or she thought she could get around the rule because she tried to bring her apple juice through TSA. Foods that are liquids or gels must comply with the 311 liquids rule, meaning the liquids can't be more than 3.4 ounces when going through TSA. Ultimately though, TSA officers, they make the final decision on whether or not certain items are permitted into the secured areas of the airport. Around 6 a.m. on that Tuesday morning, Makaya was making her way through TSA at the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport when a TSA agent screened her items at the security checkpoint and removed her apple juice. The 19-year-old got upset very quickly because the agents took her apple juice and she started fussing at them. At some point, she walked around the barrier, then she tried to grab the bin containing her items being screened by a TSA agent and by the way, this is absolutely crazy. First, she's yelling and screaming when she's the one out of order here, like you already know what TSA is gonna do with your drink. Everyone knows about the rule, and if you don't know when they told you that you can't have it, that's it. You either leave the airport or you follow the rules. Just go on about your business. But no, she tried to protest right there with the agents. Very similar to what that 15-year-old did in North Carolina the other week ago. Remember when the substitute teacher confiscated her cell phone? And we all know she was going to get the phone back, but the student wanted it back right there and then. So she started reaching over the teacher, eventually struck her, trying to get her phone back. If you missed that video, I will leave the link below for you to catch up on that. But when you don't check these kids at 15 years old, then they turn 19 like Makaya. They go out into the real world. The airport confiscated her apple juice and she went reaching around them trying to grab her stuff back. And now look at how this is turning out for this 19 year old. She completely lost her mind and attacked three TSA agents. Now, when she crossed the barrier and tried to grab the bin, they pushed her to move back. According to reports, that's when she climbed on a table. An agent tried to grab her around the waist and remove her from the table. She then turned around and whacked him with her elbow right in the head, causing a concussion. The woman ripped the agent's shirt while more agents gathered around her and tried to make her sit down on the bench. A few moments later, she got up again, 
took off her shirt, grabbed another agent by her ponytail, and punched her at least three times. That's when another agent intervened when she was beating up the female agent. She started swinging again, and then she bit the third agent. Now, it seems like the only thing that she denied here was biting the third agent. But this young woman was literally at the airport acting like a wild dog. Two of the agents were taken to the hospital for treatment while hundreds of travelers were inconvenienced as officials shut down the checkpoint to deal with this disruption. That's 450 travelers. They had to be redirected to a nearby checkpoint for security screening. And you already know, some people missed their flights. More pressure was also placed on the workers because Micaiah wanted to act like a spoiled brat, throwing temper tantrums, biting people, hitting them all over some apple juice. The two agents injured were treated at the hospital and released, but Micaiah was arrested. The 19-year-old was charged with one felony and four misdemeanors. In court, she told the judge that she was pregnant. He told her they had medical staff at the jail and her bond was set at $4,500. Our first look at the woman officials say attacked and injured three TSA agents at Sky Harbor today. Our Faye Fredericks on this story, learning more about this uh, alleged attack out there, Faye, that this woman made her first appearance already before a judge. That happened just a few hours ago. Yeah, Katie, that 19-year-old woman is facing five counts tonight, including felony aggravated assault and fines that could add up to nearly $14,000 for the scene that went down in the airport early this morning. The judge reading the charges against uh, Makaya Coleman via video link. Federal officials say Coleman attacked three TSA officers during the security screening process inside Terminal 4 around 6 a.m. Two of the officers were treated at the hospital following the attack. The TSA calling it unprovoked, brazen, and unacceptable. Coleman, meanwhile, telling the judge. I'm pregnant, sir. Is there anything else I could? So we do have medical staff here. Judge setting bond at $4,500, ordering her to wear an ankle monitor and stay away from Sky Harbor. The incident resulting in the temporary closure of that security checkpoint this morning, impacting some 450 other travelers who had to use other security checkpoints to get to their gates. We're told those injured officers are back home tonight recovering. I don't know what telling the judge that she was pregnant was going to do. Maybe she thought it was an automatic get out of jail free card. Newsflash, pregnant women go to jail too and even have babies in jail. That's no excuse. And honestly, I don't even believe her, but even if she's telling the truth, you should have thought about being pregnant before you went fighting everybody at TSA. The complete lack of impulse is beyond embarrassing. People are at the airport trying to mind their business, get where they're going, and then this one walked through security acting like a complete fool. And then she's 19 years old. She should know better. Who raised her? Who told her that it was okay to attack people when you can't get your way, just like some little toddler? That's why parents have to teach their kids from two years old not to fall out acting stupid. If it goes unchecked, then they turn 18, 19, 30, still falling out when they can't get their way. Just silly. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Take a look at the mugshot. Do you think she learned her lesson or is this all a game? Special thank you to Felix. I appreciate you, Felix, for always showing support, as well as John C., Paul, and Judas Lyon. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.